have gathered together all the tools you need to build the glass house speaker kit number one. Um, gonna go through it. So you're looking at these arrangements of tools. One of the things you might think, oh, what's, what's that? Are these. Now, screw fix sell these. Um, we might get them in and sell them as well, but they're not particularly expensive. But effectively, you can widen the hole and it clamps the body together. So let me just quickly show you. So like this, so it's all glued, pretend it's all glued. And then you basically loosen, give it some slack, pull it through, give it some slack, pull it through, and then that will go around the unit like so, more slack required. Is there another one? Should be four. So yeah, that's it there. And then you just screw it tight, pull it, get rid of all the slack, fit it there. I don't think you can see this, can you? So let's turn it around. So you can see it's it's wrapping up the speaker. And then to tighten it, you just do this. And then while it's gluing. Everything's clamped into, into place. So when we do it later, because that's another video, we'll have one up here and one down here. So we've got, we've got two. But a really useful tool, not too expensive. I can't remember, I think like 25 pounds. So that's what they are. I'll give you a link anyway, if you want to go up and buy them. So that's those. Um, so let's go around. Tape, just in case you don't have these, you can, you can tape it up, obviously. Um, wood glue, now I use Gorilla. Um, now make sure you don't go into your garden shed and find some glue that's been sat there for five years because it will be all gloopy. You want a nice fluid, homogenous kind of liquid that you can spread out. You don't want any lumps or anything. So make sure it's kind of a newish glue. Drill, because we will be doing some drilling. This is a six mil, well, this is a quarter inch, which is 6.3. So this is gonna be used to drill out two holes in here that correlate with where these sit because they go through there. Um, so that's what that, the drill's for. We've got a box spanner. This is a 10 mil box spanner. So you will effectively just build the cabinet and then everything gets fitted in so you're gonna be working through this hole here and then to tighten up the actual screws in here, you're gonna use this box spanner. So that saves messing about, trying to glue it with bits on. Um, so hammer and wood block are used to bash in the T-nuts. So the T-nuts fit internally on here and you need to Put some force into fitting those which is great pretty easy job so that's that adjustable spanner because who knows when you might need an adjustable spanner allen keys to fit the screws that hold the drive unit in pliers for your work when you're building the crossover and cutters the same same reason soldering iron to solder up all your components on your crossover board the vise to hold this while you're screwing it, because it's quite, unless you put it in a bit of wood. Um, heat gun, because you will be using some heat shrink to um, stop the fraying of the Judah wire when you've unra unraveled it a bit. And also to denote which is, the which is the positive and which is the negative of your cables that go off to the uh, speaker terminals at the back. Um, done it, done it. I think I've done everything. Oh, paintbrush. So I like to paint a bit of the glue. You can spread it around easily. Um, also a pencil because once we've got it in this form, I draw, I, I draw a line around the edge so that when I've taken it apart to put the glue on, I know how far not to go over the line. Wet sponge as well. So that's used to 
clear off all the excess glue. What is your multimeter, you will need that. Um, once the speaker's all built, you wanna do a quick check just to make sure it's all wired in properly. Um, also for you to figure out which end on, on the dual and wire is gonna be positive or which is gonna be negative, you can use that as well. Um, yep, they're quite cheap. You don't have to go mad on those. Um, and I think that is about it. I think I've got everything. Have I got everything, Johnny? Mm -hmm. Brilliant, so that's all you need. You've probably got it lying around the house anyway. Excellent. Let's get building. Just before I sign off, I want to say a big thank you for watching our videos. Like and subscribe and follow us on all the social network platforms. See you later.